Hi guys and welcome back. I am so excited about today's video because I am on a cream makeup train. The past, I think it's been the past four times, three or four times I've done my makeup has been cream contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, and really not using that much powder. And if you've been watching me a while, you know that I have primarily now combination skin. I used to have very, very oily skin. My T-zone was a disaster. I think things have changed. I don't know if that's better or I've just gotten my oil under control, but the past several times I've done my makeup, I've been completely obsessed with it. It looks more natural, looks more skin-like, and I don't know, I just wanted to share this with you because, well, it's my new obsession. So if you would like to see the new way I've been doing my makeup, then keep on watching. I find that me doing my makeup this way also is quicker. It's faster, I do not have to wet a beauty sponge. It's all with brushes and who doesn't wanna get their makeup done faster? By the way, I have no idea what's going on with my hair today. It's living its best life right now, it is. Okay, garbage truck. Rude. There's so much dry shampoo in it and hairspray that this was the only thing I could do with it because I need to wash it after I do after I do this video. This is the other Christmas shirt I was talking about in my last video. It's kind of the same concept, but has different trees on it. Oh, oh, oh love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these little bunch of jiggers behind my ear because they're in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and take my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe foundation brush. As you can see, my neck is self tan my face is not. My hands are holding on for dear life because of the amount of times that I wash my hands nowadays and wash my face because of all the skin issues with the mask. So my hands and my neck, I'm sorry, my, my hands and my face are not holding the tan. So I took one pump of foundation and the foundation that I have been using lately is the Born This Way, um, the regular formula by Too Faced. This is in the shame, shame. <laughs> this is in the shade Warm Nude, which matches my self tan pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and paint, basically paint, the bottom part of my face, kind of up to where I'm going to contour. Make sure to get the ears. I find that I use less makeup this way too, which is really nice. I'm just gonna take a little more just because I want to cover more of this mask knee situation. Just a little bit better. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit just up here on my forehead basically where I'm gonna be bronzing, contouring, just a little bit, just enough to kind of even things out on the perimeter of my face. All right, now that that is done, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade Ivory. I'm going to put some here down my nose, the center of my nose, underneath of my eye. I'm not going to use a lot because the other day I didn't even have to set this concealer. I might today just to kind of test it out. And as you can see, I did not use a primer. I have been using the Olay 7-in-1 Fragrance Free. Um, moisturizer. I mentioned that in my last video. Um, it's like a primer. It's like the best primer ever in my opinion that I don't need to use like a regular primer. Now if you get oily and that kind of jazz I would recommend using a maybe a mattifying primer. I ain't even gonna worry about it. So the star of the show is gonna be the e.l.f. 
cream contour palette. Oh my God, is this good. I've never been a huge cream contour person and this palette has completely changed my game. So I'm also gonna use the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush and I actually take this shade right here. When I'm not self tan, I've been taking this shade, but this is a good shade for contour when I'm self tan. So I'm gonna pick up some of that, put it here, basically in the hollows of my cheeks and then around the perimeter of my face. And when I first started doing this, just kind of playing around, I was like, oh my God, I used too much. This is a mess. This is gonna be a disaster. Um, No, it blends out like a freaking dream. And I was completely shocked, shocked. Ever since then, I have just been completely obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and ble bleed, oh my God, blend this cream contour bronze, contour bronze situation out first. I use circular motions. I'm not very particular. So I just stipple and use circular motions and it just blends out so beautifully. Then I'm gonna go in with the other side of my It Cosmetics brush to just start, well, at first I'm gonna start with my foundation side on my forehead here and just stipple that on my chin, my cupid bow, kind of around my mouth, right here. And then I'm gonna take the other side and just blend it underneath of my eyes. And then down the center of my nose. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Age Rewind, kind of about right here. Now the other day I used my ring finger to blend it out, which worked just as good. And this concealer really does not crease on me. I just kind of flip it over with the foundation side of the brush just to make sure everything is blended really well. And then I like to go back in the t with the tiniest bit, if I can find my daggone brush, into the cream contour shade and just take it up a little bit on my cheek up here just to, I don't know, give it a little mo and then kind of go back in just in case we kind of lost that um, contour bronzer situation with the concealer. But the thing is you can build it, which is just what's so awesome about cream contouring, man. It just blends out so beautifully. I'm just like freaking blown away by this contour palette. And this brush, I find that this brush has made the process super easy for me. And then seriously, that's really it. Less than 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes. And I probably would have done it faster if I wasn't talking and trying to show you, but it just looks so freaking beautiful. I can still see my freckles. I don't know if you can, but I can still see my freckles. Oh my God, it just looks so freaking gorgeous. Now I will say on my forehead, because I have such prominent forehead wrinkles, that I found that the um, cream kind of sat in those wrinkles. So the one thing I'm going to do is take the tiniest bit of powder on a big, big fluffy brush and just make sure that it's not really settled in there. And again, we don't have a lot of product up there. So there's not a lot to get into, you know what I mean? So I just take the littlest bit of powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent just to set that to where um, it won't really settle into 
my forehead wrinkles. And then just for today, I am going to take a little bit of powder and put it right in my T-zone a little bit, just a little bit, just a tad because I do not want to look overly powdered. I'm going to take my ring finger and just kind of tap underneath of my eye. Again, yesterday I really didn't set under my eye, but I like trying new things. Using like the tiniest bit of powder will probably just let it last a little bit longer. So just tapping with my ring finger very gently to get the creases out. We all have creases. <laughs> we all have wrinkles underneath of our eyes. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit of powder and just lightly set that area. Now for blush, I'm gonna take this Kozas. Um, this is the 8th Muse, Eighth Muse Color and Light Cream High Intensity um, Cream Blush and Cream Highlight. I do find that I have to kind of warm the product up a little bit, so like that first little layer on here in order to get it super creamy, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna take the exact same brush and just kind of wipe the uh, contour off of the brush and then dip into it a little bit and then lightly put it there. And at first I freaked out like, oh my God. <laughs> but then you just got a pat. I think it blended better yesterday because I didn't have that little bit of powder on there, but I think it's gonna be okay because we still have the highlights. So the highlights I'm gonna use is the Milk Makeup Highlighter. This is in the shade Lit. And again, take it on this brush. I'm gonna get a different brush um, soon, but I am gonna take it right where I usually highlight. And this is gonna soften up where that uh, cream blush got a little cray cray <laughs> and turn out really, really pretty. It's all about patience. And even if you screw up, you screw up, it'll work itself out. Take it on my nose. Cupid's bow. Little on my chin. Little here. And my skin just looks so, it's like much more natural. It's a much more natural looking makeup look. Natural looking, natural, natural makeup look. <laughs> And then I pop some NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee on. I like this lip gloss because it's a nudie pink. You get a little bit of a pink hue with this lip gloss. It just makes the lips look so luscious. Look how beautiful this is. I'm gonna try to hold still so you can see like how blended everything looks. It was super quick and easy and it doesn't look like you have a lot of makeup on. It just is like your skin, but better. And it is just absolutely stunning. Okay, so I have my lashes and brows on. I wanna know what you guys think. If you still think it looks the same as I usually do my makeup with all the powders and a lot more makeup because this is such a lightweight feeling makeup look because I really don't feel like I have as much makeup on as I usually do. And I think powders can tend to do that and make things feel heavy. Whereas with this, I feel fresh, glowy, dewy, healthy, still have the coverage that I feel like I can usually get when I put foundation all over my skin, when I highlight like crazy and then use all the powders. I just feel like this actually looks better. I look, dare I say, fresher and younger. And the reason I say that is because 
powder when it gets cakey and too much underneath of the eyes it can tend to make a lot of us look older but with this process even though i did use like the slightest bit of powder which was the first time i did it like that i haven't used powder at all when i've been doing my makeup like this um I just feel like it just looks so beautiful and things look so much more blended. I don't know if it's necessarily just the cream contour palette or the brush and them two working magic together um, because there is something about this brush. I am glad I got this one. I had a different one in my cart and I kind of went back and assessed the situation with the e.l.f. brushes and I'm like, let's get this dude. Let's get the, the buffing foundation brush. I am going to go back and get um, a different brush for like my cream con or my cream blush <laughs> so that I'm not using the same one. And I think I'm going to try some different cream blushes. I like this, this blush. I just feel like if you don't get that top layer off that's kind of dried, it doesn't work as well and it doesn't blend as well. So... I have a feeling I'm going to be doing my makeup like this until I can't. And I mean, I can't when it gets hotter out. But as of right now, this is exactly how I'm doing my makeup. So let me know what you guys think. This is it for this makeup look and this video. I'm so happy that I was able to show you what I've been doing because I have been so excited to show you something different that I've been doing on my channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.